As a friend of mine might say, they are as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. The Quebec Liberals are on pins and needles over the English-speaking vote. It can be crucial in some writings, and the Premier even admitted they screwed up in the beginning. So it was a very strongly held belief in the community that their, their issues were not listened to enough. Right on. In fact, the Anglo constituency was ignored until recently, but a number of important measures are now on the table. The most significant being a commitment to proper access plans for health and social services in English. Now, after the abolition of local health boards, our community felt it lost its voice, lost control, and in turn lost guarantees of care. Now, the race is on for the October 1st election, a campaign which I suspect will get nasty as the wedge issue of identity politics will once again rear its ugly head. I also suspect that on the morning of October 2nd, we will wake up to a minority government, liberal or CAC, with the PQ holding a dozen seats and on its way to becoming a distant memory. Now, Lise will get his fence and it will keep voters out. Yes, indeed, the Liberals are as nervous as that cat. But like cats, they do have more than one life. Play ball. Will we ever hear those words again in Montreal? There is a group of supporters with deep pockets who are working for it. Now, a new poll this week published in Le Devoir finds that 58% say yes to baseball, but no to government funding, while 32% support the use of public funds. There is little appetite for spending public money for sports, unless, of course, you are in Quebec City and you build an NHL arena with taxpayer dollars for a non-existent NHL team. Now, the nostalgia for the days of Les Amours is so thick you could cut it with a knife. As it was said in Field of Dreams, the memories so thick they have to wash them away from their faces. The cast of characters who wore the Expo's uniform was simply wonderful and magical, but a lot has changed in the business of baseball since the heady days of the kid, Vlad, Eli, the Rock and the Hawk. Would it work? Well, maybe so. After all, the Habs have built an entire culture around what used to be. No, no, it's, it's resting. Look. Look, my lad, I know a dead parrot when I see one, and I'm looking at one right now. No, no, it's, it's not dead. It's resting. Sorry, I couldn't resist after the uproar at City Hall this week when TVA aired video of Plateau Mayor Luc Fernandez appearing to be sleeping during a council meeting. It was quickly tagged dodo gate. Now, Fernandez was hopping mad, furious, saying he wasn't sleeping, just resting. And he vowed not to talk to the reporter again. Thin skin and shades of Trump, who refuses to talk to media he doesn't like. And speaking of the presidency of dysfunction, this picture, taken at the funeral of former First Lady Barbara Bush, shows us what is good and decent still about America. These are political foes, four ex-presidents coming together because they share fundamental values of what it means to be an American. Values that continue to be debased and slandered every day by the 45th president. But what they show is that there is still hope. I'm Barry Wilson. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out our weekly poll on Facebook. We want to know what you think.